Matt, how did the team pull up from yesterday? Um, I actually haven't caught up with a lot of the boys, but on the on the plane yesterday, everyone was still pretty upbeat, and we knew that we stuck it out for four quarters, just a few things to tinker with, but um, yeah, the boys are in good spirits still. Any idea how Chris Mayne is? No, I, on the plane he seemed, you know, seemed okay, I was watching a movie, and I was speaking to him on the way down to the car, so he seemed okay, just a bit of a knock, he should be okay. And what about Nat Fife, any idea with him? Yeah, oh, I think he's having scans this morning, so we'll, we'll find out pretty soon, but yeah, it was just one of those freak accidents. He, he's always got a footy in his hands and he was just you know, getting his touch ready on the game day and he just accidentally slipped on his, on his suitcase or something and just a freak, freak accident, something like that. Slipped so on a, on yeah. a suitcase, mate. Yeah, oh, I'm not sure exactly, but I know he's you know, he doing his usual touch session, which he does every week, so just one of those freak accidents. You didn't go to the game, stay back in the last in the hotel? Yeah, I was yeah, well, well, already planning for next week and just making sure he's doing everything to the letter. So he hear stories about blokes with footies in the hand all the time. He's, he's one of those guys, kicks the footy around the, the, the hotel room. Yeah, exactly. He's just, yeah, I'm sure he's, he annoyed his mum at an early age, just around the, around the house, breaking glasses probably. But yeah, no, he's ha definitely handling the football all, all the time. And um, yeah, so just very unfortunate that he happened to, you know, cause an injury. What does it do to the morale of the team when you find out on game day that you've lost a really important player and just a couple of hours before the match? Oh, we're a very resilient team and we've played with Fife for the majority of the year. so. You know, it was, a, it was a shock initially, but we moved on pretty quickly and I thought Lockie came in, although he was a sub when he came on, he had an impact. What about Alex, how's, how's he? Yeah, he just woke up a bit crook, so that was disappointing for him to not be able to get up and play, but he'll be fine for next week. How do you think the defence went without Luke and then Alex pulling out as well? Yeah, well, our defence has been solid all year and it was obviously a big test for them. Adelaide, you know, going really well and I think what really hurt our defence more than anything was just our lack of ability to win the stoppages, so the ball was coming in a bit well too easy. What positives do you take from the fact that you're about to take, take it up to a top two side and only three or four goals off in the end? Yeah, well, exactly that, mate. Just the ability that, just to know within our ability that we can, we can do that. And if we stick around for long enough that hopefully things might go our way and we know that we've got to tinker with a few things as well. So there's room for improvement. What about Paddy Dangerfield? How good is he? Yeah, he's a, he's a freak. Yeah, no, he's just a great player and had a privilege of being on him for a little bit and wasn't able to negate his influence. When you look at the, the team's position now, and obviously it's, all, it's almost like you're in an elimination final every single week. How does that feel? Yeah, I, you know, all the boys go there every week and knowing that, you know, football mortality is out there. So we've got to, you know, front up each week and put our best foot forward. So that's what we did yesterday and that's what we'll do next week. So you're confident that you, can, that you can push into the eight? Yeah, definitely. The morale is still, you know, well and truly up around the boys. And saw Pav tweet something pretty positive this morning as well, which is great from the captain. So everyone's up and about, mate, and we can't wait for next week. Another big challenge the Tigers, they've got a good midfield in there, you might get the Leo Cochin again, could be a hard challenge for you. Yeah, they're a very formidable midfield and we'll, we're lucky we'll get a chance to watch them pretty closely today when they play, so hopefully pick up a few things from that and take it into next week. Who do you normally take in the Tigers? Oh, I only played, I played on Martin last year and uh, last time we played them I just it was a few of the boys.